It's Tuesday, it's time for our e-blast. So uh, give me about five, six minutes and we'll kind of update you on what's going on. Sunday services were, I think, awesome. Uh, attendance was great. I expected, we had a lot of people out of town, but yet the attendance was still up. Uh, our visitors that came and were participating in the service, God bless you and thank you for, for being a part of our worship service. Uh, I ask you uh, each week, you know, when you listen to these e-blasts, to be praying for our services and praying for our pastors. Uh, especially this week, I want you to be praying for uh, Pastor Tim's wife, Rebecca, and, and Pastor Gary's wife, Sophia. They're both battling some COVID issues, so I would encourage you to lift them up in prayer. Plus, we've had others in the hospital like Ruby uh, Staley and, and, and different people battling different things even in their home. We have the Smiths in, in the hospital uh, in Texas City area, uh, Bay City area. So be praying for these folks. Folks, uh, people we love dearly, and we want we want God to bless and protect them. So lift them up. Due to the fact that we are short staffed this week, uh, when it comes to our Wednesday night service, which is tomorrow night, we're going to cancel this Wednesday night service. One because Tim and Gary have been taking care of their brides, and we don't want them maybe to carry something up there. At the same time, I could only be at one location at a time, so don't want to call somebody up at the last second and say, "Would you do the the preach this to, uh, tomorrow?" So we're just going to, this week only, cancel the Wednesday night service. And I want you to know your pastors are always being sensitive to what is going on in the culture with the, with the, with the, with the pandemic and epidemics and stuff. So uh, we're seeking to always be making wise decisions. But just this Wednesday night only, we'll get back at it. Next Wednesday night, Pastor Gary will be doing at the Spring Campus, the Harmony of the Gospels. And if you're a student of Scripture, you, you don't want to miss this. And it is the same exact uh, uh, mindset that you should approach uh, at Magnolia Campus when on the Book of Revelation. And Pastor Tim does an excellent job with it, with this study on Revelation, and he's going to be doing that on Wednesday night, starting next week as well. I we we said it was going to start this week, but we're canceling this week. We'll be back at it next next Wednesday night. So take part. Both these campuses; these are times for you to grow as a student, as a disciple of Jesus Christ. It's not just about attending and being somewhere; it's about maturing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Sunday services. We said there's two things that Christians face, uh, and, and this series is on freedom in Christ. One is maturity. Are we growing up and, and being what God's called us to be and growing our faith? And two, we're dealing with the issue of freedom in our spiritual walk in life. So if you've had uh, habits and addictions and issues that you've been dealing with, then I encourage you to come, be a part of these services, and listen to what the Spirit of God will say to you to get you to a place in your own walk in life where you really understand who you are in Christ Jesus. And I really believe most people struggle in the Christian walk because they really haven't understood who they are since Jesus got a hold of their life and what God desires to do in their life and how he will do that in our lives if we participate and cooperate in faith with the Holy Spirit's work in our life. So you just tune in to what God's doing. There's a lot of things going on right now. School's starting back up. Uh, our events begin firing up. We got a marriage retreat in October. If COVID does peak like they some might think it will, then we'll make adjustments for that. But we're just moving on forward in faith in this regard. So get signed up. It's only you only have to pay the deposit. The information's at bfchurch.com, our website. If you're interested in coming to our marriage conference, it's going to be a great, great season and a great, great weekend in the Lord. Uh, a fellowship, friendship, and just growing together is in, in our marriages and growing up in our marriages. So make sure that you you're attending that. And you're a part of that. Uh, so another event that's taking place this week at the Spring Campus, uh, our distribution day we did this a week or so ago at the Magnolia Campus. It was fantastic. Doing the same. Masks aren't required. They'll be at the door. And people will be encouraging them if you, to, you know, there's so many people just come in uh, to please wear a mask. And then the air and the building will be sanitized again before Sunday services. So, uh, again, we always watching out for you, for your health, and we're concerned about it. But most important, we're concerned about your spiritual health. The worst thing you can do is stay away from church. So come, social distance, wear a mask if you desire to wear a mask. Uh, vaccinated people, it, it's, it's up to you at that point what you want to do. But we just, we encourage individual responsibility, maturity, and mostly we encourage love, that we love and honor and respect one another. So you come, uh, nobody's going to look up, down, or sideways itch if you don't wear or do wear a mask, all right? Uh, you, you, you make those calls for your own personal life and your own, on your own family. But know that we love you, and we're praying that God does a great thing. As we talk about the, the, the season of, of fall coming in, and we, it, we look at the things regarding the, the events coming up, I want to remind our guys and men at our spring campus that we do have a short work day starting at 8 a.m. Sunday morning 
and it goes just to noon. I mean, Saturday, not Sunday. Saturday morning, and it goes to noon. Uh, we're getting some area on a piece of pro our property around the parking lot that really needs some attention taken care of. You can reach out to Phil Dutton, Eric Jenkins, or Lady Quet on that, and they'll give you some more insight about what, what will be involved there. But uh, don't have a deep, deep Bible study, but I do have a deep, 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 deep word of God for you. You know, as parents, Kathy and I uh, focused really in on teaching our children scripture. Uh, obviously, we taught them John 3.16 and let them know how much God loves them. We also, at their very young age, there was a passage in Psalms, and I don't even have the address in front of me, but it says, at what time I am afraid, I will trust in you. At what time I am afraid, I will trust in you. You know, you can't help but listen to the culture around you and the news and the media, and there's this spirit of fear that, that it's, it's prevalent in the newscast. And, and it, whether it's the fear about the economy, it's the fear about the border, it's the fear about diseases, it's just, it's just, you know, it's the fear about increasing violence, and all those things are realities, all right? But we don't let those things control our lives. So my word to you as your friend and as your pastor, it's the same word I taught my children when they were very young. Uh, if there's a fear in your heart, you can turn that over to God. We don't live in fear. Perfect love, our love for God and His love for us will cast out the fear. And we can, we can be... We can be responsible, yes, but most importantly, we should be faithful. And faithful by that, I mean faithful to keep turning to God with every issue of our heart and life. So whatever you're dealing with today, whatever you're facing this week, or whatever decision you might make, and it could be something to do in your in, 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 in the issue in your home, your family, your finances, you take this thing to the Lord. Don't just sit there and, and, and mull over it or uh, stress over it or get anxious about it, but cast your cares upon Jesus because the Scripture makes it clear that He cares for you. Hey, listen, God is up to some glorious things. Let's be attentive to what he's doing in our hearts and lives. I'm just trying to check here uh, real quick. Let me remind you, no, again, no Wednesday night service this tonight. With this e-blast, there'll be an attachment, a PDF attachment for the newsletter. Uh, this is kind of the midsummer newsletter that's going out. We'll be releasing another about three weeks from now. But there in this are the events and reports and updates of what's going on in the church. So open it up, share it with friends, share the e-blast with friends. Uh, most importantly, uh, share Jesus with everybody you know. September 19th, I believe, is a date. That Sunday we'll be having, uh, we'll be participating in the National Back to Church Sunday. So be watching for that. You'll be seeing if, uh, a promotion of that coming up soon and prayer and encouragement for others to come be a part of that as well. I love you. We believe God together, so let's continue to trust the Lord together. If you're suffering today and you're sick, you know if you're on that prayer list that a lot of people are praying for you. Trust the Lord with us as we trust God for you. God bless you. I'll see you Sunday.